What's going on guys? Access the Gaming Things Nocturnal and today I'm going to show you how to um, recover a corrupt SD storage um, partition on the HTC One X. As you know these do not have um, removable SD cards so if you do corrupt the uh, SD storage on this where you can't mount it or uh, you can't put files on no more you're pretty much screwed. Um, and RUU can fix this, but if you don't want to go the RUU route, um, I have an easy solution for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm still on the phone. Um, actually, let me make a note of this. Is also if uh, you want to clean your SD storage um, or your phone out, for example, without, without having to use an RUU, this will actually uh, help you with that too. Um, so let's get started. What I want to do is, if you're in the ROM, if you're in a custom ROM, um, you can uh, you can hit restart and go into uh, bootloader, or <clears throat> you can download the tools that I'll have in the link below. Um, open up the uh, command prompt and type in adb reboot bootloader. All right, so we're back in bootloader. As you can see, we have uh, we're in USB uh, fast boot. So what we're going to do is open command prompt, and we're going to type in fast boot flash um, recovery. Then type in recovery.img. That's the name of the file that's in the folder here. Go ahead and um, hit enter. As you can see, it's in the file. And the flash. All right. Once that's done, go back to your phone, go to bootloader, and then go down to factory reset. The phone is going to reboot real fast, and it's going to go into the stock recovery, and it's going to wipe your data partition and your SD card. Um, what this does is it forces a rewrite, and it will clear up any bad uh, sectors on the SD. So if it is corrupt or you can't mount it, um, any of that kind of mess, this will fix that for you. Um, and it's also, like I said, avoids flash and RU. You don't have to relock your phone. You know, you don't have to go through the HTC development page again and all that stuff. So it saves some time and cut some shortcuts. Okay, so it's factory reset. Um, so what we're going to do is unplug it for a minute. Hold down the volume down and power button. And we're back in here again. Okay. So what you want to do now is hook your USB cable back up and we'll go back into uh, Fastboot. Okay, make sure it says Fastboot USB right there at the top. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to type the same command but we're going to flash TWP or Team Win Recovery so we can get back to the custom recovery and flash ROMs again. So what we're going to do is type in uh, Fastboot flash recovery and then type in twrp.img okay so that's done now what we do go back to bootloader on the phone go to recovery and give it a second to boot real fast And there you go. Back with Team One Recovery. Now you can go ahead and you can mount your SD card. As you can see, it's mounted already. Um, so if it wasn't able to mount, if you weren't able to mount it before, this will let you mount it again. Uh, you can mount it to the PC. And there you go. Ready to go. After that, just uh, just pop on a custom ROM, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll again. This is Access Magical Team Eternal. If this video helped you any, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you need any further help with this method, go ahead and uh, hit us up on the forums with the link below. Uh, and thank you for joining us.